Cedarock State Park uh, came to be because of Lowell and Agnes Walter. Lowell was local, grew up in the Quasquitin area. Uh, they had amassed a considerable amount of wealth and it was at that point they were kind of looking towards retirement. They wrote a letter to Frank Lloyd Wright and were curious if he'd be interested in, in creating a retirement home for them here. And Wright responded that same year with three sentences. And he said, I'll build your home, there'll be no basement nor attic, send me further details. It took two years of building um, to create the entire estate. So Cedar Rock, the estate here, consists of the house itself, a formal entrance gate, a river pavilion or boathouse, and then also a council fire, kind of an outdoor entertaining space designed by Wright. They never had any children, so one of their plans, even when they started kind of commissioning this home, was that would ultimately become a public site, something they could share with the public. Since then, we average about 10,000 touring visitors that come each year from all over the world to experience this house. And the park itself has grown from 11 acres to 430. So we keep kind of a green buffer around the house and we have a lot of watershed protection. Very nice public site for the area. So the house is primarily constructed from brick, glass, and concrete. Wright was really interested in designing with an organic style of architecture, dissolving the walls here, like you can see behind me, and creating these kind of windowed walls. He softens the edges even in the garden room and the exterior of the house with greenery and really kind of makes it seem more earthy and like it belongs here at the site. For the property here at Cedar Rock, the garden room is really kind of the focal point. It's where most of our visitors want to enjoy most of their time. Wright did an excellent job here creating this space. The whole entire estate is only 1,800 square feet, but the garden room is about 900 square feet. Um, you come down this narrow hallway that's compressed, which is typical for Wright, into this well-lit garden room that expands and opens up and really welcomes you into the space. And then there's a gallery or a hallway that takes you back to the kind of your, your nighttime areas of the house, the bathrooms and the bedrooms. The main house itself has three bedrooms in the immediate portion of the house and then a maid's quarters and a tool room. Frank Lloyd Wright, during his career, built right around 530 structures that were actually realized. Of those, there were about five boathouses, four built while he was still alive. Uh, of the four that were designed and executed while he was alive, Cedar Rock is the only boathouse that Wright designed that's still really in its original condition. It sits on the banks of the Wapsipinicon River. It's actually kind of cantilevered off a large limestone rock prominence that we have here on the site. And that's kind of Lowell's man cave. Um, he would do poker parties down there. He could do some of his farm management business down there. It had its own phone line. There's also a bed there and a very small kitchenette and a teeny tiny bathroom with an amazing view. Um, the Walters had a screened in area there as well where they could sit on the patio and enjoy dinner right from the river maybe. So we'd love for you to come and visit Cedar Rock. We think it's a beautiful example of Frank Lloyd Wright's work. Cedar Rock State Park is located in northeastern Iowa between Waterloo and Dubuque, just off Highway 20 near the small town of Quasquitin, Iowa in Buchanan County.